Should I pay for ads or not? That's the question of the video. Welcome to the channel and uh, to this video. It's about it's an update about Trezor One again. Uh, of course, it's the product that I'm most focused on uh, from all the side projects that I have. And this channel is about building these side projects and the companies around it, etc. Um, so a topic that was continuously on my mind in the past uh, months was should I pay for ads to um, get the word out and get some customer acquisition, etc. Also, um, should I work with influencers, pay them so they endorse the product on their channels or wherever? Sorry, there is a cat screaming. Uh, she's probably against it. Anyways, um, that's that was something where I am uh, was uh, unsure and I talked a lot to some of inf to some influencers and to some people uh, in the let's say ads business or ad space and um, I think I found you know the the reasoning why I'm so hesitant uh, of doing that I tried to do ads on reddit it was terrible uh, and I thought maybe I'm just not good in, at you know doing ads like the headers and the images and whatever it is but um, there is actually a bit more to it so now ugh, the cat is here and she wants to uh, be a part of it. So um, what's what's the, what's my reason for what's my skepticism regarding ads? So in general, if, if you are building a product and you are trying to achieve product market fit, you want to be sure that users use the product because they want to. And I'm always saying that I, I'm, I don't want to compromise on price, for example. I want to build a product that people like to use that is useful to them and if it's too expensive then the product doesn't offer enough value it's not the price that is too high it's the product doesn't uh, add enough value then and i have to work on the product not on the price so i don't want to like throw out a product for 99 cents and then have to struggle with paying my bills or whatever um, and the same kind of applies to ads i don't want to uh, force people to use it which I have the feeling with ads it's kind of like that if I pay an influencer to recommend the product um, they probably would not have recommended without it which means why not the influencers in the finance space are probably using a tool to track their portfolio and I'm pretty sure they will not use the tool that they are paid for they will use the tool that they like the most that that is useful to them so am i able to build that product i hope so and if that product is not Tresor one um, then i don't want to pay them to say other to say to other people that that it is uh, it's it makes them not uh, authentic and it also makes the pro it, it's not a good look on the product and it doesn't help me finding out if the product is good enough so what I rather do is uh, I I try to make the product as good as possible, share with the community, the users, talk to them, find out um, what's good, what's not good, and make it better, uh, and then have naturally people adopting the product, kind of an organic growth. And maybe this is a bit too naive, but I hope it will be shared by people out of pure excitement to use it because it's useful to them this is what i want and i think this is what happens until now of course we don't have the explosive explosive um uh what's it called exponential growth but we have uh, good growth steady growth and i think it's um i think people recommend it it's not for everyone of course but for the people that that fit the the user base and the feature set and and the idea of what we are trying to do um, they are using it and they are recommending it and there are some people out there uh, like Lisa from Aktiengram uh, she she recently shared it on on Instagram without any uh, involvement of me and it was amazing she got good very good feedback from her user base we have a few more users that um, that send us feedback that use it or not use it in the future but we learn from it which is amazing and uh, she really got the idea uh, what we are trying to do here and then then is a good step for me and for everyone involved i think to say okay now let's check out how we can work today 
together? Can we provide a discount to your audience? Uh, can we um, share a bit of whatever acquisition things or whatever partnership or collaboration comes out after? But for me personally, this is this is a, a so much more healthy way of dealing with this kind of stuff than just paying paying out money uh, to get traffic and and users because it's unhealthy in a way like I, I cannot infer from that if the product is useful enough you can of course you can check conversions and throw as much users and traffic on there and see how much sticks but this is very expensive i rather work on a small scale first and have a loyal user base that i can serve well and they understand what we are doing and it's helpful to them and then grow from there and then more and more people might notice it and if it's useful they share it because they want to that is the idealistic scenario that i have in my head and um, because if i look at myself as a consumer i'm doing exactly the same there are products like stripe versal these are developer products or products for developers slack um, but also other things like iphones or my macbook or um, my bike uh, if people ask me i'm very excited about these products i recommend them i talk about them Uh, I talked here on the, on the channel at length about uh, good products that I'm using and I'm not being paid for that at all. It's just I'm excited for it and I, I would love to see these companies succeed, to see this product succeed. So I'm kind of an advocate for the awesome products that I use. And in my head, ideally, I'm able to create a product with my team that uh, that that attracts people that become themselves advocates for this product. Um, so that is what I'm trying to achieve. I think it's much more work. It's uh, much harder and takes way longer. But in my in my opinion, it's it's way more um, it's healthier, and uh, it creates just a strong base to to grow on and to to work for. And you know, if at some point we we need ads to make the product visible for people, fine. We can we can check that out too. Um, but currently, it's it's uh, yeah I'm 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 not a fan of it and uh, I probably won't do it. Um, but I'm very very lucky and and uh, happy about everyone who's sharing it and especially like people like Lisa but others as well. I was a guest at Real Finance Fan here uh, on on YouTube also. Uh, so some people that you know talk about finance, that talk about investing. They, um, they discover Trezor One and they like it, they like using it or they are at least interested in what is happening um, and they share it because uh, they think it's a value to the audience or it's a value to them. And that is what I'm trying to build and these are also the people that I would love to work with. Not because I dangled some money in front, I don't have any money to, to spend on this anyways. Um, and uh, it's also a good filter, you know, to find, to find the people uh, that are very good fit to work with. Um, and regarding ads, yeah, I hope it, it gets shared in, in all the groups and the discussions around finance and investing because there is so much hype going on currently in Germany, in the Aktienkultur, um, in, uh, in the retail investing space um, that uh, I hope it's shared there uh, out, of, out of sheer um, excitement about the product itself. All right, that has been it. Uh, these were my thoughts on, on the topic on paid ads. Uh, I will not do it for a while, but uh, we will see where the journey goes. And um, hopefully we can build a product in a way that customers are excited about it and share it on their own. If you are a customer, let me know why you don't share it. Uh, maybe um, we have to make it simply more useful and exciting to you. And uh, I'm very, very happy to do that. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you're interested in how we build Trezor One, how we build the company around it and maybe even other side projects, subscribe and let me know what you think. Uh, looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye.